Hey guys, welcome. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from The Mermaid Cove. Welcome. If you're new, please subscribe, stick around. I appreciate it. Introduce yourself. If you're someone who comes back all the time, I know who you are and I appreciate you. You have no idea. But guess what I'm with? Trader Joe's. I won't even discuss it. Yeah, it was too much fun. So I'm splitting it up into two hauls because yeah. But I got some flowers from my mama to have in the nice kitchen. Um, I don't know. I tried to get something that's not gonna be poisonous to my cat, but I just thought they were pretty. And I did my best. One of her, she has many vases. So, you know, you can't beat the same, just plain simple ball. I also got Angela some white daisies just to have. Um, dropped those off already. So yeah, it was hopping, Trader Joe's. I went about on a Thursday at like a little, quarter to 11. I was in a rush, never a good thing. There's still stuff I can't find, like those sour cream onion lentil things. I'm probably not even gonna like them. They did not have the chocolate, almond, like things like Cadbury dupe. Um, so those probably aren't gonna be able to come. I've been looking again for the Doritos. They're dupe for Doritos, the production issues, God forbid. Um, and I think there was one more thing, which I can't think of. It's on my list. So what did I find? What did I find? Did I find anything? Did I only buy two, three things? No. We're going to start with this. I've been seeing people talk about this. That's so good. Um, it's $5.99, I think. Four cheese scallop potatoes, thinly sliced potatoes, and a creamy sauce with Parmesan, Asiago, Fontana, and provolone cheese. Now... Um, <coughs> I was, my mom loves scalp corns. Y'all forgive me. Friday, my day off, but really it's, well, anyway, it's my Saturday, tomorrow is my Friday. Anyway, my mom loves scalp potatoes and, um, I made them one time after she was gone and literally had to go to the emergency room because thems and, um, no, I think it was this finger and, uh, my on the lens don't mix and the, uh, the ER doctor said, I think you should use kitchen shears. <laughs> so, and it was right when COVID started. I was so scared. It was like a Sunday night. I think I was starting to film then, or, um, but didn't. So it would not have been chopped my hand off on live TV. Anyway, scalp potatoes, y'all, are not my thing. They're okay. Oh, They're okay. If I'm, I'm somewhere, someone's gonna give me scalp potatoes, I'm gonna eat them. I'm just, you know, so anyway, I heated them in the oven. Like, I think it was 20, 25 minutes. Um, now, of course, you could dress these up with all many of Trader Joe's seasonings. I think I'm not the biggest fan of white sauce. Anyway, but my friend Beverly is. So these are going to be one of my contributions to it. We're just having a small Easter, like a non-Easter Easter, right? Creamy. Um, there's something in here. Nutmeg. I love nutmeg. I do. I don't like it in my potatoes. I don't. It's a very strong flavoring in nutmeg. But I like it, and I'll probably have a little bit right now when I'm done with y'all before I start my next presentation. But they're super creamy, super easy. I mean, if you were bringing this, and there's a lot of people, you'd have to make a couple, right? But for me and Bev, it's gonna, um, what spice would you put on here? Not to mask the nutmeg, but complement it, but I don't know. Again, it's in like what I call the deli section, y'all. You know what I mean? I'd rather have mashed potatoes. I just, there's something about white sauces and not my, not my fate, okay? okay? Kiwi, oh kiwi. Did you know if you can juggle, it takes, which I can't, obviously, it, it brings some part of your brain together which helps with ADHD. I think these were 44 cents. Yeah, what the hell, what's that? I still haven't mastered the kiwi. You know what, today I'm gonna Google kiwi and figure out, I mean, they're kind of firm, that poor thing, now it's probably gonna have a bruise, but I'll never give up on the kiwi. 
mango i'm just right now i have some frozen mango at work i need to bring home so until someone tells me the mangoes are amazing i got some green onions don't know why whatever i'm thinking about cooking well i guess i don't know making that feta thing with pasta i guess i could cut them off the map i love though that they're packaged dollar 49 in case of emergency y'all i'm down to two now they ran out 229 you know i can't even though i'm not supposed to be spending on things i don't need well this is this is a need right september it'll last a long time hopefully none of that will be thrown out i have i always have one in my car open like when i'm hungry coming home from work so i don't eat i have that the villa italia italian blood orange soda 349 i'm bringing this to beverly's is one of my offerings because it's angela's favorite so she'll be there in spirit. I can't remember the last time I didn't celebrate Easter with Angela. Um, even when my mom was alive, my mom had everyone over. So, but she's not, Angela's not a food person. Like Beverly and I were laughing that we could just expand our, what we wanted because Angela is not there. And you know, she's very specific thing. She's specific, specific. And yeah, it just used to drive me and Beverly crazy, but you know, we're food people. We're like foodies. We want to try. We love food. We want to eat. And just not like that. So anyway, um, bittersweet. Okay, you guys, new item, new, new, the non-dairy oat creamer brown sugar. So I had some in my coffee this morning, y'all. It's good. Dollar... 99, but I have to remember not to add any sugar until I have this and see if I need any. Let's see what terrible things are in here. Hydronized oats, is that bad? Sunflower oil, emulsifiers. Mm, I don't know, natural flavors, y'all. Have you watched that Bobby, not Flay, Flav guy? I must be trying to have a do, yeah. Anyway, he was talking about how bad natural flavors are for you, so. So when I die, they do an autopsy at my side. She died of natural flavor. You guys, I can't. I cannot. I cannot. Four seventy-nine. I'm gonna try one because Barb asked me, does it taste like caramel? Because it says sweet cinnamon car caramel. Caramel. What do you say? Caramel or caramel? I can't say that you bite in this apple and say, oh, I take caramel and cinnamon, but I'm gonna tell you, you bite in it and say it's the best damn apple you've ever had. Bar none, best damn apple. So I've given two bags away to friends and they're like, wow, that's a good apple. So, and it really, I've been so good on my fruit this week, and here I just bought a bunch of junk. And the sad thing is I probably won't eat all that. I wish I could just, you know, anyway, I'll get to a point where I can just buy anything, try them, and move them on, which is probably what I do anyway. I just love trying new stuff. Not necessarily eating it all. Okay, taste test. These are one of the things I was on the hunt for. Three seventy nine. Okay, Trader Joe's Thai Banana Fritters Sliced Thai... Namwa bananas and a coconut milk, rice flour, and sesame seed batter. They're vegan. I cooked them in the oven for, um, I said three minutes on each side just because I had used my oven for the scalp horns. You're supposed to serve something with this that makes it really good, but I can't remember for the life of me. So y'all, could you comment what it is all the people are doing? Number one, pretty much anything that's fried in dough is good. Oh, it's vegan, right? Mm. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest lover of like hot banana, but you know, big size. Why is it, y'all, that I mean, it's pretty good? Mm. Kind of yummy. So, I got one at work. 
got two. I could fit four new things in my freezer, but it doesn't mean I should, right? I'm gonna go ahead. I really like these. I'm so, I didn't think I would, but the breading is not too much. It's got a really, you know, sometimes it tastes like oil. Mm -mm. Tastes yummy. You totally taste a banana. Um, I have to Google what it is that people are having it with. Beverly's gonna love these, so. This is on the non-negotiable lift with my popcorn, unexpected cheddar. So I have enough now to last me a little bit. You guys, buy this. What are you waiting for? Buy it. It's a combination of cheddar and Parmesan. And I've tried other places have it under obviously different names. And they're yummy. But, you know, $3.99 for this quality cheese. These are some of my favorite things. The Mushroom Melodies. It is $3.99. Again, um, I just about used up my last one. So, and then you can zhuzh them, right? You can zhuzh them however you want to zhuzh them. But yummy, yummy, yummy. Now, a new, a new staple. Gum for my Bev's um, Easter basket that I get for all the time. They had it. They had Japache $2.99, you guys. So somebody had bought me two because I have everyone, I, all my retired ladies looking for it. And I ate one like immediately. And then my um, one of my coworkers didn't have anything to eat. And she's Asian I, and she didn't know. So I get, let her have it. Because, you know, I got three. You just put this in the microwave, y'all. That's it. So damn good. My friend and I, Winnie, we are going to make our own. I made my own, but... Winnie had got me the noodles anyway. She's gonna get the food and I'm gonna do the cooking though. We'll see if she can cut a carrot or not. I wanted to buy every single one there and I'm very sad I didn't. But I will, I hope this becomes a staple because it's just for three bucks. And honestly, I can't eat all this at one serving. Like I might have it, break it up in two servings. In other words, sticker, cause I need to get out some stickers for my sticker collection. it um $7.99 I am not a hundred percent sure I like Tres Leche's cake um definitely not for those who don't do well with dairy uh, it's heavy cream evaporated milk and sweet and condensed milk um so I just defrosted it in the refrigerator it said you can serve with berries sprinkle of cinnamon so it comes in this cute little thing. Um, smells like dairy. It smells like melted ice cream. Ooh, goodness, y'all. I guess I was still thinking it was frozen. Ooh, and there's a cream down at the bottom. Can y'all see that? Okay, I should need a spoon, but there's got potato nutmeg on here, so. Holy crap, this is yummy. It's like super moist. You guys, I, don't, I mean, I don't feel like it needs anything because the cream and all that has such a, a wonderful cream taste. Wow. Hopefully this is limited. I'm 100% sure it's seasonal. Keep frozen. So, Latin American inspired sponge cake soaked with three milks and topped with whipped cream. This is probably something I looked at. I'm not gonna try that. Now that you know, I'm trying things. Eight bucks. Wow, that's amazing. 
That, my friends, is a 10 out of 10. Like, how often do I actually finish, like, something I'm trying? Mmm. That close to Mooney, but it's not that kind of channel. It's not yet. Y'all. Mmm. No. I've never had chestnut tea cake. Damn. If they're better than that, okay. One more thing for this haul. I will have to cleanse the palette because, oh my God. I'm trying to think. I could see cinnamon. I guess maybe some strawberries. But honestly, it's really tasty by itself. I haven't seen anyone haul this, but I haven't been watching as much hauls. So I don't want to go buy everything. But Trader Joe's chocolate caramel or caramel yolk yolkies. It's milk chocolate, milk and white chocolate with an orange caramel filled decoration. You guys, how cute are these? They were like, I think $2.99. Like I said, I couldn't find the almond things. But I know this is not normally something I'm going to gravitate towards, but excuse me, on a charcuterie board. <sighs> I'm going to make a charcuterie board. I just love it. I just, it's just so funny. Anyway. Um, ter not, I'm not going to say terrible. Insanely sweet. Caramel. It's not something that I'm going to add or rush out to have because they're going to go out of them. But it's fun. I haven't seen them or heard of them. All kinds of commotion going on, y'all. Oh, and one more thing. I actually use this up. The organic. I do have like half a bottle of soy sauce. $7.98, but I really prefer this now. Staple. Okay. What are you going to try? If you can't tolerate dairy, do not buy that chest less eggs. But I would um, try it for sure. Um, it's Trader Joe's, right? You can't go wrong. I had gotten some, um, excuse me. outside my door anyway i would try that um i've now lost my frame of mind my frame of mind yeah i always lose my frame of mind um oh i know i gotten back uh, grapes in the 5.99 they're really good and i got new ones and they were moldy so i just took them back six bucks right and that is how the joe's goes i did have some moldy cheese from my um giant and it's uh, was eight dollars return that first time I ever returned anything there but not paying eight dollars for cheese that's moldy okay I'm also listening to um Becoming Trader Joe's an audiobook for the man who kind of started it it's fascinating if you guys I'm listening to it through Libby free but if you get a chance you should read it it is really interesting just about the grocery business and like when he started there were a lot of men that had been on Normandy and survived the depression and and just how regulated and corrupt and like, you know, anything men are running. I take that back. Not all men are like that, but you know what I mean? I'm only about half, maybe a little more than halfway through, but we're still, I think, in the late 70s, early 80s. So it's, it's a really good read. Okay, guys, thank you so much. What are you going to try? I mean, don't rush out for these, y'all. I mean, they're cute and everything, but... I'm not sure how, what I'm going to do with them. Uh, Tres Leche, yeah. The banana fritters. Oh, my God. Yes. So, I'll be back. I have lots more things I got to try, but I don't want to try too much at one time. Did I or did I not get the Florentine lasagna finally? Tune in my next Trader Joe's haul.